My name is Howard Rollins Jr. I was Sergeant Rollins. I went to Vietnam. I'm 71 years old. I went to Vietnam in January 22nd, 1970. And um, I cried from New Orleans to Dallas. <laughs> and it took a, a nice stewardess to pat me up, quiet me down. And from the flight went from Dallas all the way to Tacoma, Washington, and from Washington to Alaska, from Alaska to Japan, and from Japan to Vietnam. After jungle school, a week of jungle school, you go to your assigned unit. And mine was the 173rd Airborne Brigade. 2nd Battalion, 503rd Infantry. The first day I got there, going back, before I was made a radio man, after I left jungle school, when I arrived at the unit, they were already in some kind of firefight. And I remember the helicopter setting me down on top of the hill, which is base camp. And I sit on the log, and I'm watching the helicopter go in and out. They're coming back with bodies. They're flushing the helicopter with water to flush the blood out. And Top, which is the first sergeant, he came out. He said, the CO will be with you, the commanding officer, CO captain. He'll be with you in a minute. He, he came out, and he welcomed me to the unit. And he told me, he said, uh, if you follow the, my orders and follow your sergeant orders and things, you may get home alive. The second day, and the way the unit really worked, we operated in what we call five-man hawk team. It could be five men, it could be seven men, it could be, but it was just small groups. So. This particular time, now this is my first, really first time out. We hump out of the base camp, which means we march or walk out of base camp. However, if it's 20, 15, 20, maybe 30, some case 40 miles from base camp, we travel by helicopter and it's called a combat assault. Well, we humped out of the base camp this time, and this was my first time. And we all walking along, we came through the jungle, came down out of the hills. We hit the rice paddy. We was approaching a village when the enemy started firing upon us. I froze, which is normal when you first go into combat and you're not used to it. When the shooting start, I froze. And the, the guys that were with me that was used to it, they all jumped in the rice paddy. I didn't want to jump in there. But somebody eventually pulled me by my pants and pulled me down in the right pads. The edge is where uh, the people sat down and relieved themselves. That's where they poop. And so the edge of the right, in the right pads, was like maggots and stuff. We jumped in that, and the bullets were flying. If it hadn't been for the guy that pulled me down, I probably would have been shot and killed then. But Let's talk about the best and the good moments. Oh Lord. I guess the best moments were I met my I met my wife, your grandmother in Hawaii, but then I had to go back after five days. And then sometime when we when we was on the stand down, if uh, after a heavy, heavy action, they would send us to a beach called Lodu Beach. Oh, on the South China Sea. And uh another company would perform perimeter guard and all we do is eat steaks 
drink beer, eat seafood, and swim. Sort of like an in-country R and R, relax and recuperation. And and that was some good times. Cause then you get to really know some of the guys other than just as soldiers. Coming home was a different story. I experienced the uh, people spit at me but didn't spit on me. I, I experienced them talking about you. But I was one of the few that just was still wearing my boonie hat on my, on my uh, jungle boots as part of my dress. In other words, I didn't hide even though they act like they didn't like us. I don't regret any of it, except during my military service, I was offered NCO school, non-commissioned officer school. I turned that down. I was offered warrant officer school to fly helicopters. I turned that down. And I was offered officer candidate school, OCS. That's the one I regret, I wish I'd taken because I probably would have did what I wanted to do was fly jets. So that would be the only regret that I didn't accept Officer Canada School. Coming home was really good, but this is what I did. I was too excited and I couldn't wait. So I took a flight that would have got me there like 10, 11 o'clock that night. I got to the airport in New Orleans. I kissed the ground. The last bus stopped running at 11 o'clock and I got there and I just missed it. So with, a, with my duffel bag and I had a rifle, which was a, a war trophy. I walked down the airline highway from the airport to Tulane and Galvez, where, where my wife was staying on Perdita Street. And I told her I was gonna catch her sleeping. So when I got to the front of the house, the Smokey is a big German shepherd. He had a habit of pushing the curtain and looking and he saw me and he went to the side, he saw me go through the side of the house alley so he knew I was going in the back, he rushed through the back. <laughs> I, I didn't think he'd remember me, but he did. And he cut up when I went through the back door. They didn't keep the back door locked. That's the way it was during them times. I come in through the back door, played with Smokey, and I, I went in the bedroom where she was sleeping, and I dropped my rock and the rifle, and she just opened her eyes. Howard! She was so excited. <laughs> and your mama was laying next to her, in between her and Anna Marie, her sister, because they slept together. And I woke up the whole house. And she was so excited. I said, I told you I'll catch you sleeping. But that was, that was a joy. But also it was like, um, I couldn't believe I made it home. So it was a, took me a long time to wind down, really long. The end. <laughs> Howard Rollins Jr. has been awarded with numerous medals for his time and service in Vietnam, like the Airborne Badge, Army Emblem Badge, Combat Infantry Badge, Jumping Badge for Finishing Parachute School, Brown Star Badge, Purple Heart Badge, Air Medal for doing over 150 combat assaults, Army Combination Medal for putting wounded soldiers on helicopter during firefight, Vietnam Service Medal, National Defense Medal, Republica of Vietnam Gown Tree Cross Medal, Vietnam Campaign Medal, Expert in M16 Medal, Expert Automatic Rifle Medal, Marksman with M60 Machine Gun Medal, and the Brownstone for Serving the Country. Thank you for watching and learning about my grandfather, Howard Rollins Jr.